In this amateur video posted online, demonstrators in the Syrian city of Dera protest against President Bashar al-Assad. It was at a similar protest last year that Hassan, a 21-year-old Syrian soldier, says he was ordered to shoot at unarmed civilians. They came out to demonstrate and we killed them. We were forced to kill them. After the protesters fled, we went into the shop and broke the windows, and then we destroyed the water tanks. We went inside the mosques and destroyed them too. And the soldiers who refused to follow orders? Hassan says they were simply executed. I saw how they killed them. They shot them dead. They put them against the wall, blindfolded them, and shot them. I saw this with my own eyes. In another refugee camp near the city of Dohuk, Abdullah, a former tank driver, tells of his role in the bombardment of Homs. We were in a group of tanks outside of Baba Amr, and we were shelling indiscriminately. We weren't shooting at selected targets, we were shooting indiscriminately. The targets weren't specified for us to be either civilian, opposition, or free Syrian army. Nothing was specified. A lot of people were killed. After the bombardment, Abdullah says he witnessed the Syrian army dumping bodies into mass graves in an attempt to cover up the massacre. There were a lot of civilians in Baba Amr being killed. There was a massacre in an olive grove. We have a lot of olive trees there, so we call the area Al Zaytun, which means olive. They buried a lot of people there to hide them. Although the men are physically safe now, their mental health appears affected. I remember these sights. Wherever I look, I see them, especially when I try to go to sleep. I remember these things. I'm tense, angry, and confused. Sometimes I can't fall asleep for hours. The Syrian government tries to play down the defection. But as the violence continues, more soldiers like Hassan and Abdullah are likely to come to Iraq. Iraqi officials say at least 130 soldiers have fled Syria, and they're preparing new camps to house 500 in all. Sebastian Meyer, VOA News, in northern Iraq.